Hello everyone. I welcome you all for today's session on Introduction to Electronics Engineering. In today's session, we'll be covering the concepts of number system conversion with the second method. Lecture 3. I am Mahadevas, Assistant Professor in the Department of ENC at Danan Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. So for number-based conversion, in today's concept, we'll be seeing about conversions from one base system to another base. In order to understand the conversion from one base to another base system, as we already seen four number systems, that is about decimal, binary, octal, and hexadecimal numbers. And hexadecimal number is represented by 16. And 16, when it is converted to the binary, it requires four bits. As two to the power of four is nothing but 16. So zero is represented by four zeros. One is represented by triple zero one, means it's the grouping of four bits there. Similarly, for octal number, it requires two to the power of three. So to convert to the octal from binary to octal or octal to binary, we need to group our three bits of binary numbers there, okay? So as we can see, zero is represented by three zeros. One is represented by double zero one. Similarly, seven is represented by triple one there. So if you remember this particular table, it will be very easy for us to convert from one base system to the another base system. So let us understand the number-based conversion with the problems. So let us convert two, three, four, five, base 10 to the hexadecimal octal and a binary. So first convert the decimal number to the highest base system. Here highest base is hexadecimal. Okay, so let us say the conversions. So two, three, four, five is divided by 16. So the quotient is one, four, six, and the remainder is nine. So 16 is, again, we divide the one, four, six number with base 16. So we get quotient as nine and remainder as two. Since the quotient is less than the base, we can stop it here and move from bottom to the top to write in the correct format. So the correct result is two, three, four, five in the decimal is equivalent to nine to nine in hexadecimal. So we converted from decimal to hexadecimal. Now it becomes very really easy for us to convert the hexadecimal to the binary there by grouping of four bits. So as we can see, the conversion of hexadecimal number to the binary with the four bits. So nine is written as one double zero one, two is written as double zero one zero, nine is written as one double zero one. So we easily converted hexadecimal to the binary there. Now, once we get a binary number, it becomes very easy for us to convert to the octal number by making a grouping of three bits. So how to do that? So when you want to convert the binary number to the octal number with a grouping of three bits, we have to move from right to the left. Okay, so what happens here is that you can see double zero one, one zero one, one double zero, one double zero. So what happens here? Once we group the binary number in terms of three bits from right to left, we can easily convert that to octal. So one double zero represents four, one double zero represents four, one zero one represents five, double zero one represents one. So this is the octal number, four, four, five, one in the octal. Similarly, let us understand with another example. So four, six, seven octal should be converted to hexadecimal, decimal, and a binary. So the method remains same. Now the given number is in octal. So we have to convert that first to the binary with a group of three bits. So we can easily see four, six, seven in octal is equal to one double zero in binary, six is double one zero, seven is triple one. So we easily converted octal to the binary there by grouping of three bits. Similarly, we can convert this binary to the hexadecimal by making a group of four bits, moving from right to the left, or least significant bit to the most significant bit. So we can see easily here, grouping of four bits. So it is zero, triple one, then it is double zero, double one. And since last is one, we are appended with three zeros where it doesn't give any value there. So this one or triple zero one is also same. So now let us convert this number to the hexadecimal. So this is one, three, seven. 
So the final result is 137 in hexadecimal. So we converted now the binary number to the hexadecimal, which was very easy. Now let us convert this hexadecimal number to the decimal number. So conversion remains same as we already said in the previous video. We have to write the position of these numbers there. So seven position is zero position, three position is one, and one position is a two. So this represents the power of 16 then. So let us convert it. So 1 into 16 to the power of 2 plus 3 into 16 to the power of 1 plus 7 into 16 to the power of 0. And we convert this number, multiply and add it. So we get the final value as 311 to the base 10. So you can observe how easily we convert the one number base system to the another base system. Okay. Now let us understand with the fractional number also there. So let us convert triple one zero double one point double one zero one base 2 to the hexadecimal decimal and an octal then. And so if the number is given in the binary, it has we already studied grouping of three bits or grouping of four bits can be done very easily for an octal and a hexadecimal. Now let us convert that to the first octal by grouping of three bits. And now since the fractional number is given, so we have to move from decimal point that is the right to the left. So from decimal point, you can see this is grouped into three bits, zero, double one, and triple one point. After decimal numbers, we have a group of three bits, that is double one, zero, and only one is left, add just double zeros there. So we, what we get number is seven, three, six, four. So this we easily converted from binary to the octal. Now similarly, we have to make a group of four bits to convert it to the hexadecimal. As it is shown here, you can observe it. So before decimal number, grouping of four numbers here, that is one, zero, double one, and double one is remaining. We have appended zero, it doesn't change the value. After decimal number, it is having only four bits. So we have written like that. So this number is three, B, C. So we easily converted from binary to octal and the hexadecimal. Now, the last step is to convert it to the decimal for the highest base number system because that's very easy there. Now, if you observe 3b dot c, we have to write the position of the numbers. So before decimal point, the position starts with zero. After decimal point, it starts with minus one there. So we have written the position there. So b <coughs> position is zero, three position is one. So we have to convert this now. So three into 16 to the power of one, plus b into 16 to the power of zero, plus c into 16 to the power of minus one. When we multiply and add these numbers, we get the final value as 59.6875 base 10. So now in this session, we already seen how to convert from one base system to the another base system. I hope you understood the concepts. If you have any questions, go to the comment section, write down your questions, I'll reply to your questions. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, Click on the bell icon for further notification or share with your friends for their benefits. Thank you.